it took me like yeah a year to get diagnosed I feel like from December 2019 to September of 2020 was me constantly going to my doctor being like hey this is not feeling better hey this is just getting worse hey like I can't eat I'm completely fatigued I have nausea this is also like you know when the pandemic started I'm in an ER in March 2020 it's literally the last place I want to be but it's like that's just kind of like where I was in terms of like I know something's wrong and I just I feel like I was just really like dismissed each time like oh it's just the stomach ache you know type thing it's like a combination of both them not taking me seriously as a younger patient and also my providers just not having the knowledge or like screening like the proper screening for stomach cancer in that time frame i had three endoscopies and a colonoscopy the very last one came back positive for cancer so i was misdiagnosed i was originally diagnosed with duodenal cancer Um I was told that my cancer was about a 3 to 4 centimeter tumor in my duodenum like my upper intestines. I was told that it seems like it's pretty early like stage 1 or 2. Um and the kind of treatment plan that I was given was surgery. So I woke up from surgery and I was told that I was misdiagnosed. Um what they thought was duodenal cancer was actually gastric cancer that had metastasized to my duodenum and my pancreas um and that they had removed about 80% of my stomach um 30% of my pancreas my duodenum my gallbladder and my bile ducts there was it was very much prevalent in my lymph nodes so it was pretty like advanced it was a it was a major misdiagnosis <laughs> You know like I got my diagnosis, I had my surgery. Throughout all those times, it's like I know I have cancer, I know this is life threatening, but I never felt like I was dying. But the first time I felt like I was dying was when I was going through chemo. Originally, I was planned to do 12 chemo sessions, right? And then um the plan was to do yeah, 12 chemo and then radiation. But I and I only did 5 chemo. after every single chemo i was just having like a lot of complications and i ended up having to go to like the er or end up in the hospital after every single one me losing consciousness or i i was having seizures and it just felt like it was making me sicker yeah once i went to md anderson told you know they had advised for me not to do the chemo and they said that uh, with the testing they done um I was a good candidate for immunotherapy. Just the medication itself is like upwards of $10,000 a month and I think the billed amount was like $39,000. It was just so inaccessible. I went without treatment from January to March and during that time it was me like trying to battle insurance even though my doctors recommended that as a treatment they would not cover it by insurance because there wasn't enough data or research to support that it would help someone my age. There were times when I would be on the phone and it literally felt like I was trying to like pitch them my like as to why my life was worth saving. But the way I was able to get the medication was um the manufacturer of the drug, they have a patient assistance program. Um and it was basically me applying for that. they were able to provide me the medication at no cost which has been I'm I'm so I'm still on that program I'm still receiving it through them um and that's been I mean honestly yeah, it's actually saved my life <laughs> I also know that the fact that like me sitting here 2 years after everything that I've been through is like a miracle in itself. It sucks to go through something like that, but I feel like one of the biggest lessons I've learned because I've had to like face my mortality so young is like life is really hard, but it's worth it. Like it's 
hard things will happen challenges will happen like you will be tested in life but like you'll get through it like we are stronger than what we know in terms of my health and how I'm feeling I've told myself like I have to listen to my body like if I feel good then I am good if I feel healthy I am healthy um, because listening to my body was what helped me get diagnosed like these scans and biopsies and things like that they only told me so much it was like I knew something was wrong and I followed that feeling I'm just really grateful that right now I feel good I feel strong um, and I feel healthy so I am you know 